Hi, it's Wendy Hernandez with Command Courtroom. In today's video, I want to talk with you about the power of the truth, especially if you're, if you're struggling with drug or alcohol addiction. And I have been on both sides of these types of cases. I have represented the person who has the addiction problem, and I, you know, I'm representing several people right now with addiction issues. Um, and I have been on the other side with the parent who is worried about their children because the other person is a drug addict or has an alcohol issue. But if you are the one that's struggling right now, I want you to think about something. You're not perfect and I'm not perfect. The other parent's not perfect. The judge isn't perfect and your kids are not perfect. And going to the court and trying to deny the fact that you're not perfect just isn't gonna work. There is a lot of power in telling the judge what issues you're facing. If you tell the judge that every day is a struggle, it's a struggle for you to get through the day without thinking about getting high or taking that drink, even in spite of the fact that it's not good for you or not good for your kids. But if you tell the judge that and you tell the judge, but I am trying and these are the things that I'm doing to try to get better and you give your judge real examples of um, going to meetings, for example, or going to get drug or alcohol testing so you can hold yourself self accountable or by enrolling yourself in a substance abuse program or getting the family uh, support that you need. If you give the judge real examples, I think that most judges are probably going to respect you a lot more than if you walk into the courtroom and deny that a problem exists. Because most judges are pretty smart, most judges are pretty intuitive, and they can see through lies, um, especially if you're testing positive and the evidence shows that there's a drug issue but you're not admitting it. The judge is just gonna think you're in denial and the judge is probably not gonna respect you very much for that and the judge is probably not gonna trust you a lot. But if you're honest, and you tell the judge about your issues and you tell the judge about your problems and you tell the judge that you're trying and you tell the judge, hey, you know, I am open to your suggestions. I am open to getting the help that you think I need. There's power in that. Judges really want parents to have relationships with their children. Even people who have drug issues and even people who have alcohol issues. But the deal is this, you have to do something to help yourself you have to do something to help your situation. It's just not gonna to come to you. You can't just continue to do drugs or continue to drink alcohol if you think it's bad for you and expect that you're gonna get what you want, that you're gonna get unsupervised visits or that you're gonna get equal time. You have to take those steps, you have to take baby steps and you have to be honest with yourself and you have to be honest with the judge. There's power in that, so remember that. Remember that the judge wants you to have time with your kids and remember that your kids need you. I hope this message helped. If you haven't already, remember to go to YouTube and, and subscribe to the Command the Courtroom channel. Like us on Facebook. Get that best interest checklist at commandthecourtroom.com. And until next week, keep on trucking. Remember to command the courtroom.